What's up everybody, it's Rob here from the Basement Bike Shop and in this video I'm going to show you how to pack up and ship a BMX bike. So whether you sold your bike over the internet or one of your friends moved and you have to ship his bike to him, this video will walk you through the step-by-step -step process of partially disassembling and packing up your BMX bike. The first thing you want to do is go to your local bike shop and get a bike box. It is way easier than building your own box and most of the time they don't charge you for it. Then we're going to flip the bike upside down if you don't have a bike stand and elevate our seat. And then I'm going to let some of the air out of the tires. This way if it ships by air the change in pressure won't cause your tires to blow. After that, we're going to remove the front wheel. Most of the time, this takes a 17 millimeter ratchet, possibly with an extension if you have pegs. These profile hubs use an Allen wrench. Now, if you have pegs on your bike, you're going to want to take the pegs off also. But we're still going to leave the back wheel on. After that, we're going to remove the pedals. Again, a lot of times you use a pedal wrench. These pedals use an Allen key in the back side. Now the best way to do this is to position the Allen wrench so that you can squeeze it against the crank arm. It's a good way to get leverage. Also remember that your left pedal has opposite threads of your right pedal. And when you're turning it from the back side like this, um, you're going to go the opposite way you would if you were turning it from the front side. After that, we're going to disconnect the brakes if you have brakes. First thing we're going to do is turn our barrel all the way in at the lever. And I'm going to line up the slot right away. Then turn the barrel all the way in at the frame. Then squeeze the brakes together and disconnect your straddle cable. Then we'll go back to the lever with the slot lined up in the barrel and the lever. We're going to pull the cable out of the lever. Then I'm going to reconnect the straddle cable just so that things don't rattle around. I also turn the barrel all the way in on the lever again. I also tighten down the axle nuts on the front wheel just so that less stuff is rattling around in shipping. After that is done we're going to remove the seat and seat post in this case, it's all one piece for us. If it's not all one piece for you, most of the time you can leave the seat post and seat connected. Again, after you remove the seat and seat post, tighten your seat post clamp back down. And then we're going to remove the bars. Start by loosening all the bolts in your stem evenly until they're all pretty loose. And then you can take them all out. And take the bars off. Then we'll tighten back down the stem bolt cap, again snugging all the bolts 
so that nothing falls out and we don't lose anything in shipping. After that, we're gonna turn the stem and fork around. I'm gonna slide my frame cable guide back. And using big loops, I'm just gonna coil up my cable. Now it's ready to go in the box. But first, we're going to wrap up all the parts we took off. Now I, a roll of packing material here, but you can use bubble wrap, shipping paper, I've seen people use newspaper, basically whatever you have. Um, Cushion all of the parts, put in between any parts that rub together, like the front wheel and the frame. and the seat and seat post. We'll do the bars in a minute. Next we're going to slide our frame into the box. I'm going to take a piece of cardboard and put it in between the front wheel and the frame and put it right alongside and then drop the whole thing in the box. Once you get it in there, we're going to wrap up our bars and position everything around the frame and front wheel. Now you want to make sure everything's sitting tight in there. You don't want your frame rattling back and forth. So if you have to use extra packing material after you're done and you get everything in there, then that's what you have to do. Especially on top. If you put everything in and there's still room on top, add a little extra packing material. I've even seen people take small boxes, empty boxes, and put it on top if they have a lot of room. But if you got a BMX bike box, a lot of times your BMX bike should fit in there pretty snug. Then you're ready to tape the whole box shut. Actually don't skimp on the tape when it comes to the top. I like to put a couple cross pieces in first and then I run the whole length of the seam three pieces of tape wide. Now if you're shipping it USPS, I usually make a label. I just print one on paper and tape it to the box of the shipping address and my address and then I put postage on it. If I ship UPS, I just go there with the address. They'll print their own label with the address on it. But that's your preference, your choice. And that about wraps it up for this video. Thanks for watching. If you like what I'm doing, hit that like button and subscribe and I'll keep these videos coming. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, you can leave a comment below or you can send me an email. Thanks a lot.